All right, I'm gonna try to make a better, longer, slower video for you guys. First, I wanna say these slick locks are awesome. So that's definitely something you should invest in to protect your van. The doors are still empty. Nothing on those yet. Um, there's the cat litter. No, it's actually salt for, it's snowy and wintry. And so that's good to have. Just an empty bucket. Over here's the trash can I just used bungeed. It's a 10 gallon little brute. There's a shovel. Um, the Hackney shelving is really what I'm trying to highlight. It is aluminum, and so the magnetic stuff has to go on the side um, there. I also have this glove box holder. You can get these at Harbor Freight. They're super handy. I had that diamond tread plate put on because I drag water heaters and stuff up through there um, quite a bit and then this is just one of those like desk hole cord covers I got an aluminum one and it, it just helps because without it you just have a hole there and so I put that on there and it fit perfectly it's like two and a half inches it's, it's pretty cool so back here I just used some two hole strap for the plunger and then I have some pry bars and house trap tools, stuff like that. All of these battery holders I got from, uh, you know, eBay or wherever. Um, they're just 3D printed and they're pretty rugged. Um, they're not very expensive and they just, you know, hold your batteries. Occasionally on these ones, um, they'll fall out. Like if I go over train tracks doing 45. Um, but that happens. So this plywood I added and I just got these brackets. I just measured, I think it's like two inches or two and a quarter. And then I just put the brackets on there, tightened them up. There's one there, one there. And then there's a couple up there for that pipe rack. And so this, this wood doesn't move and that allows me to screw onto it. And so that's how that's set up, another level. You can't have too many levels. So then this is just a piece of aluminum that I've bolted on with a couple nuts. And then I can hang these bags from it. And then, you know, hex shears, pry bar, aviation snips, your shark bite removal tools, stuff like that. And then this pipe rack, I've seen people use the unistrut in the vertical, but not all of my wrenches would fit like that. And so I keep these here. Yeah, it works. I've got this, this has my Allen wrenches. And these are just copper cutters and they just hang there nothing really special on this side i just put this up as the closet auger keep it handy um, more space for random tools you know little pipe wrenches and baby pliers stuff like that these guys you know here's my electrical bag i like having bags that are dedicated to like one purpose so my this is like my electrical bag if i'm doing anything electrical i grab this bag and a lighter of course for lighting those really old water heaters um this bag is my like remove here we'll go bring it down and go through it all right so it's like my my nipple extraction kit or if i'm working on a faucet anything in the mowing tool i use that all the time these are install tools anything i need to try to remove a stem or a nipple um this is for you screw this on and it helps crack the nuts on the bottom of a faucet there's a little mowing insert pieces so i keep all that in here so if i know i need to try to remove something that's the bag i grab all right so there's the driver's side here's the passenger side um this passenger side i'm pretty sure is the longer of the two let's measure one's 48 inches and one's 46. um yeah this one's got the 48 inch shelves and the other one has the 46. i lose tape measures all the time so i just hang them up here it's convenient so I don't lose them so this one's only 46 inches if I was going to do it again I'd get them both the same that way I could interchange the shelves um, but I didn't because there was not a lot of information on these but the one side fit perfectly I want to say it's the 48 
that fit this side the 48 inch fit perfect the 46 had to be adapted i'm pretty sure i'll leave it in the comments if i'm backwards but i would get them both 48 and then they would both adapt perfectly um and we wouldn't have all these issues that i sometimes run into uh, let me put this on. so up here that pipe rack used to hang up there but i dropped it down so i could hang that ladder there it's just, you know, a pipe rack. Nothing really special about it. And I just use bungees to hold it in place for now. I plan to build a shelf up here so I can have more stuff underneath. Just add another layer. So here's the Hackney shelving system. It's a really great system. I used to work for a bigger company and they had the Hackney um, boxes on a Isuzu NPR. But those were almost too big. And so I said, I can go do something smaller, but they have this perfect system where they send you these bins and you just lay them out however you want. And this is just kind of how I've designed mine. Then you run into situations like that where something pops up, doesn't pull out nice and easy. Oh, and you have all your fittings lined out. They have this lip right here that keeps all this from falling. So they don't ever fall out, even if you, you know, probably get in a wreck, it'd probably be okay. But it just makes it easy to pull this open and identify exactly what you need. Super easy. Like, on my pro press fittings, I know I'm out of, you know, I'm low on three quarter T's and half inch half inch 90s and there's some coupling you know it just makes it easy to say okay here's what i got here's what i need it makes organizing like your stems super easy so you got your mowens and your gerbers and your price fisters and your handles and stuff and your smaller stuff your delta and whatnot you just got them all right there it's a really great system some you just leave empty and you throw random junk in it. Um, these shelves are also really great because these Milwaukee boxes fit perfect. So if you've already got the Milwaukee boxes, you can just throw these right, right on there. So here's my fastener bin. It's got all my screws, everything like that. And I guess if anybody's wondering, you can put two of these slim organizers together and they'll clip together like that. That's how I was doing it, but every time I needed an electrical, it'd be underneath here, and I'd have to jack with it. So, the bottom is tall enough. I got a Gerber Avalanche down there, ADA height. So, I mean, it fits perfect. Um, and these shelves are totally customizable. You can move them however you want. Like over here, I've got this raised up way high, and I've got this shelf lowered so I can put garbage disposals and sump pumps and stuff. So it's really convenient. There's a wheel well under here, right there. And so that leg back there you can see is cut off, but uh, it, it holds. It's bolted um, on the ends for sure. See that bolt there? And then it's also bolted across the top. So the shelving is, is, is pretty solid. It's not gonna go anywhere. Got, I'm looking to put the curb key and the broom. I wanna mount those up here somewhere. Uh, maybe put the, the dolly up here somewhere as well. Haven't figured that out yet. It's a process. So the shelves, I want to say, are 18 inches deep. And so my air snake, my Milwaukee air snake, it doesn't fit all the way. But it, it doesn't move either. It's pretty solid. You got all sorts of stuff up here. Sawzall and super hog filter. I don't know what these are. Extensions or something. Lights, hog boots cords, camera, glue, paper towels, so floor cover, level, you know, stuff like that. It is tubular. Three inch. I don't, I don't keep a ton of three inch stuff, and similarly, I don't have a ton of, like, gas fittings. Because I figure when I do those kinds of jobs as a service plumber, I'll just go get them as I need them. Flex lines. 
toilet part. These are all my random toilet parts, like the stupid Kohler pieces that nobody carries. And just more toilet parts. More toilet parts. So, tools, everybody. Okay, here's a, here's one of the slim, or the regular, like, small pack outs. They fit in there perfect. This is a, designed for a six inch bin right here. So they have these six inch bins and then they have these like four inch bins or two and a half inch bins, whatever they call them. And so here's all my like little M12 tools, roto zip, oscillating tool. Uh, my rotary tool is supposed to be in there, but it's out getting serviced. So trash bags, fall. So then up here, I've got like, this is the M12 rotary hammer. It's just in a bag. This is my soldering kit. You don't have to solder very often, thankfully, but you gotta have a kit. My torch and my gas and all that. Everything's pretty much PEX or Pro Press these days. But keep that handy. This is, oh, CSST tools for when I'm running CSST for gas. There's the pressure gauge and the cutter and all that. Just keeps it all organized and neat. I can throw this on top of my rolling pop pack out box and then it's a box. Usually I have my jetter down here, but it's the middle of the winter, so I don't uh, I don't do that. I had to strap, put a ratchet strap on that leg to pull it over to get it to line up underneath for when I bolted it. So I'm guessing this is the wrong size one. And when I did that, it put a little bend in this um, shelf, but it works fine. It's no big deal. So there's that little step ladder, some buckets. Ran. There's the General Speed Reuter 92. I put this step down here and it makes rolling it up into the van super easy. And so putting that step in was a great idea. I highly advised. There's my little knee pad, you know, crescent wrenches and stuff like that, hoses and dust pans. There's my extension cords, a little bag, magnets. You know, I was originally going to put a water heater right there, but then I decided against it. I just load those up as I need them. Unless I know there's like a water heater shortage or something, but that is the van, more or less. I tried to slow it down a little bit, try to give you a better idea of what it looks like, supply lines. This bin doesn't always go the way you want it to, because there's not a lot of the horizontal dividers. But then you can say, you know, you get your 9 inch toilet, 12 inch, 16, then your extensions, and then you do your faucets over there. It's pretty, pretty slick. I like it. Gas nipples. Yeah, so if you guys have any other questions, um, let me know. I'll try to answer them. Um, I really like the setup, so thanks.